I cannot wait to dig into this. Ryan here coming at you from RE Fitness. We are diving in full course in calculating macros. Now, the first thing we got to cover is why. What is the benefit of this? And don't worry, we're gonna roll this out. We're gonna keep it very simple. Here's the thing, you get full control over your nutrition. This is great, absolutely great for weight loss. And it provides endurance for longer workouts, harder workouts, and ultimately gives you the most bang for your buck out of what goes into your mouth. Okay, let me explain why in this one powerful slide that I created for you. Over here on the left, let's say that this is grilled chicken. You got a little bit of asparagus there, some broccoli, some rice. Let's say that's 500 calories. Okay, that could easily add up to 500 calories. And then three or four slices of this delicious deep dish that kind of looks homemade there, maybe not so deep dish, but that's pizza, okay? Now, you can easily eat 500 calories of pizza. You can easily eat 500 calories of the meal on the left, the, the better for you meal. And here's the reality. It goes without saying here, the meal on the left is going to be so much better for you. Why is that? Because of the macronutrients, the three big macronutrients that we're going to cover in this. This is why calories is inferior. All right? Calories is simply a unit of measurement, but it's inferior for the long run and macros are so much more important. So here we go. <laughs> How it feels to calculate macros. You feel like pretty much a, a macro scientist here, right? So let's dive straight in. So we want to make this easy. So I've broken it up into parts. We're going to go for our first focus part. And this is understand macronutrients. What are the macronutrients? So here is an incredible gauge, an incredible chart, letting you know how, what ratio should you use? So this ratio is fairly basic, but check it out. We've got weight loss, maintenance, and muscle gain. Let's look at weight loss. So typically you're going to have 35 to 50% of your nutrition be protein. Then you have the 20 to 35% be fat, and then your carb intake is 25 to 45%. Now, those are wide ranges, but look at the pie chart as a whole to get a better feel for this. Okay, when you're going for weight loss, you need to be eating higher ratios of protein, higher ratios of carbs on the other two, right? So this is more important. Protein is so much more essential for weight loss, and I talk a lot about that. Plus, we're gonna have relatively low fats, right? So protein's gonna be the big key, especially honing in on weight loss, but this is a very good at a glance of where you should be macro-wise. So let's go in and define the three big macronutrients. There's only three here. Carbohydrates. Carbohydrates include sugars, starches, fibers. These are foods that are found in grains, starchy vegetables, beans, dairy products, and fruits. The big thing I want you to understand about carbs is there's two types, simple carbs, complex carbs. Simple, that's sugar, right? Simple is very processed carbs, and that's what's gonna sit in your stomach. That's very dense in calories, and this is also gonna go to those fat pockets and cause visceral fats. So I wanna hone in on throughout this presentation, carbohydrates, complex carbs. That's what we're gonna be talking about, the dairies. Everything you see in this image is going to be complex because you can see we got some oats, we got some potatoes, um, it looks like some, some whole grain pastas. That's where we wanna be. Second major macronutrient is gonna be fats. Fats have the most calories of all macronutrients. Your body needs fat for energy, critical functions. This is hormones, this is absorption, body temperature, maintenance, and also fats are found in foods like oils, butter, avocado, nuts, meats, fatty fish. Also, I put some very clean fats here, and you can see we've got those regular oils, you got avocado, you got the almonds, the nuts. The best fat of all time, hands down, is going to be coconut oil. That's the top of the totem. Let's move straight into proteins. Proteins are vital for your entire process. They're for immune function, building of tissues, hormone enzymes. This is your recovery. So it's important that you understand that low protein is very bad when you're trying to get weight loss and fat loss. So one of the things that we harp to our coaching clients got to get that protein up in fact this can really help this can really help fight those cravings some examples of protein rich foods we got eggs poultry fish tofu lentils protein is the core building block of your nutrition so you've got to be high in the protein second major focus let's talk about how to count carbs okay is butter a carb right gotta love this a little bit of mean girls action over here Here's the big thing. You've got to understand food labels. This is, this is the first, this is where everything starts. 
All right, so you start at the top looking at your serving size. Check the calories, then move straight to the nutrients, the fat nutrients. Now, typically you're gonna wanna limit these unless this is your directed fat intake for the day. So you wanna be around two times per day taking in a healthy fat. So all the other things that aren't your, your direct healthy fat, if this is high, if this yellow section's high, then you want to avoid it like crazy because it's gonna send you over the edge. So remember those healthy fats. You got coconut oil at the top. It's one tablespoon well, twice a day. You've got almonds twice a day. I have almonds. This is very important. Then boom, you can move down into the lower portion where you're gonna see protein right there. Protein's in white. So you want to always have foods that are, generally have foods that are high in protein, okay? So that's, you look at the nutrition facts, if you look at your protein shake, you're gonna see 30 to 40 grams. Obviously it's a protein shake, but you get what I'm saying. You're always gonna be able to see where that protein is. And then boom, you're looking at the vitamins and minerals. Okay. There's the vitamins and minerals. Listen, you're going to get most of your vitamins and minerals from whole foods. Don't rely on supplements for the majority of your vitamins and minerals. So this is the food label, little cheat sheet. Make sure you screenshot this. As we move on, you're going to decide your ideal macro breakdown, right? These are the average amounts and we covered them above. So I'm not going to go through these as listed, but here's the big thing. Using a coach is so key. I use the same, I've had the same coach going on six years now. Using a coach is so key because the coach is the professional that will not only oversee and hold you accountable, but the coach is going to be able to give you that, that hard check, right? Tell you where you're at and adjust those macros. This is what body flow is all about, right? This is why we do this. This is the coaching. This is getting it done. So let's go into the tracking elements. Okay, here's the tracking element. What does this look like, okay? So there's certain apps out there like MyFitnessPal where obviously you're looking at those nutrition facts and you're looking at the, the whole foods and then boom, you're tracking it. Now, this is the big thing. This just simply means that you're logging what you're eating. Now, me personally, I don't like tracking foods. Another benefit of using a coach is I'm not tracking that. Um, somewhere in the vicinity of this video, wherever I deliver this video, I'm also including the macro super list. Now, this is an item that you can use to identify how much proteins, carbs, and fats that Whole Foods have. Because the, the nutrition facts label that you see in you know on most foods, cans of soda, anything like that, they don't include that nutrition facts on a lot of the Whole Foods that we find, right? We go and get we go get the chicken from the meat aisle, or we go and get beef. You're not going to find that because it's it's different per serving. So I've given you this awesome, awesome, awesome guide to help you break it down. That's the macro super list. That's what we've created. Now I've also created a video that goes specific into for everybody that wants to get really technical and mathematical. I've included one of the videos that I've created. It's absolutely a viral video that can help you kind of outline the guide. Now for all the rest of us, here's the big thing. Again, I like to let my coach handle that. I don't wing my macros totally, but I do not want to become an overthinker. So I don't track crazy. And this is all just person to person. So let's go into the benefits of you know, understanding macros from a holistic standpoint. This is also why that I always promote simple macros. So this is what macros really help you with here. It will up your food quality instead of focusing on calories only because calories only is just super inferior. It will promote weight loss. I mean, this is really going to be key because uh, above all else, you're going to be able to see where your protein's at and get that up. And then ultimately, best for body recomposition. This is AKA burn fat, build muscle. Everything comes down to body recomposition. See, this is not just about weight loss. This is about fat loss and it's about building a little bit of lean muscle, feeling better, looking the part, feeling strong. And we're not talking about looking like a bodybuilder. I mean, you could obviously take it to the max if you want, but we're talking about getting shape, right? When people say, I want to get in shape, that's what a body recomposition is. You'll also be able to know that all of your macronutrients needs will be met so that you're not craving. It's nearly impossible to crave when your macronutrients are met. Plus, this allows you to have flexible dieting, which means you're really gonna be able to you know, understand, listen, you're not in the mood for beef that day. You're not in the mood for fish that day. It's gonna allow you to know, well, I know what the comparable choice is for chicken, so you can inter-swap things staying within your macro range. This is very, very good. So the fourth focus I wanna, I wanna jump into is the on-the-fly adjustments. You may have a question specifically to what do I do now when blank happens. Well, let's, let's go straight in. And look, you'll even look like this little guy. You'll be ready to go when you know your macros. All right, so let's look first and foremost. 
but I'm hungry. Okay, this is you. Like, look, I'm always hungry. If you're hungry, add more protein. It's the most satiating nutrient and it has more fiber. It's also filling. So here you are, right? You're snacking at the end of the night. One of the biggest things that when clients come on board our coaching, you know, before when we do that initial interview, it's like, well, what are you, what are you currently eating? Give me your protein intake. Well, I'm at 20 grams a day. We, we, we kind of, you know, we look at the nuts and bolts of what they've been eating. I'm at 20 or 30 grams a day. This is wildly low. It's unhealthy to be this low. So at the end of the night, what you think is a psychological craving is actually a physiological cravings. It's you saying, oh my God, your body, this is your body telling you, look, I don't have enough nutrients. What are you doing to me? You're killing me right now. So we've got to get that protein up. That's the one if you're hungry. If you're tired, we need to add more veggies. All right, this is fibrous. We need to get more fiber in. And also, this is your carbohydrates, okay? So if you're too tired, this is the thing. If you've ever tried a crash diet where you just pull yourself down to like 500 calories, which is so unhealthy, we, we would never do that. Now, if you're on a crash diet of some sort, your energy feels super lethargic, super low energy. This is carbohydrates, okay? That's, that's really important. And the next major thing is, listen, I'm trying everything. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not losing weights. Okay, if you're not losing weight, the first place to look at is that carb intake, making sure that's balanced, especially you know, with your dinner. Are you eating way too much carbs? Are you overloading at one point during the day? This is the big thing. If you're losing weight too fast, you want to add five or six bites of starch, you know, such as even a sweet potato or oatmeal, one meal per day, right? This is a this is a big thing too. Do people really lose weight too fast? Absolutely. Go back to that crash diet. Here's the thing. If you lose weight too quick, right? If you, if you just pull all those calories and you know, all the water weight starts to flush out and then a couple days go by and you start to drop and you're losing energy, you got bags on your eyes, this is so unhealthy. You're going to crash your metabolism. Uh, we do a lot of metabolism fixes here. Well, let's go to the next one. Craving everything. This is the extreme elements. This is the extreme elements. Here's the big thing. If you're having sugar cravings, balance your blood sugar with better protein and fiber, removing all the sugar. If you have high sugar cravings, balance your blood sugar better with protein and fiber and remove, this is underlined here, remove all the sugar. If you're having sugar cravings, this is a give and take, this is a replacement. And I just stressed this a second ago when it comes to snacking. The big thing about cravings is adjusting them at the physiological level. You have to replace. So if you're removing the sugar, you're going to have to replace it with the protein. Now, when your macros are calibrated and balanced, another reason why I use a coach is, here's the thing, you're not gonna get these cravings, right? And if you are getting heavy cravings, like heavy cravings, not just like, obviously I want pizza. The psychological cravings, they happen. This is walking by a piece of pizza and it's like, well, duh, I want that. I'd rather have that than a grilled chicken meal, right? We gotta have a little bit of willpower and discipline to obviously beat that. But if it's your body caving in from a physiological standpoint, this is where we got to adjust that. Fifth focus, considering this. So a couple main things here when it comes to, and this is, this is really the cap of macros. Time, time management, super, super key. Buy and prep in bulk, okay? Cook your meals in bulk. This will save you so much time and money and ensure that you never fail. This is why always use a coach. And another key point with time is when you are out, when you're strapped, when you're traveling, use restaurants and places to eat that are cleaner, okay? We got to put that here in parentheses because you're never going to have the same level of clean food that you get at your house. Even if you go to a place that's trusted, that you really enjoy eating at, and you know what? You look at it and it's just, here's the big problem. They're cooking that meat, let's say, on a grill that so many other greases have been put on. So you can't get a true calculation. So this is key that you look at those cleaner restaurants. This is why biggest thing for on the go, hibachi can't go wrong with that. Sushi can't go wrong with that because they generally keep cleaner grills. Moving on to budget. We'll talk a little about the savings, but when you buy your foods in bulk and you prep your foods in bulk, your money, you'll literally be flowing money back in. It's likely that so much of your budget is going into eating out. We've got to stop the bleeding on that, right? So get to know your grocery store. Always comparison shop and eat out less. There's this big common fallacy that you, you can't afford to eat healthy. Look at this. I, I've seen YouTube videos where someone will go to the grocery store and they're trying to prove a point. So they're, you know, they're running their own narrative, but they'll try to prove a point that it's, listen, McDonald's is so much cheaper than you. Yeah, absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. See, when you buy your food, you can cook for your entire family. Um, one of the biggest things about body flow coaching that we appreciate is when clients write in and say, listen, I've changed eating for my entire family. That's what we're going for, a ripple effect, a generational ripple effect, so that you can teach people how to eat right. You know, a lot of our eating habits come from our models, come from the people that were around us, that we, we grew up with. So this is a big thing, all right? So let's, let's dive straight into taste. Right? This is another one of the elements to consider. See, we get this question a lot. Is there a better recipe? Is, I, need, I need to make my food more palatable. If you understand macros, your food can be as palatable as you want it to be. You can use fresh herbs, spices, you can experiment, you can get even more creative, and you can absolutely indulge occasionally, right? When you're talking about the cheat meal, this is so, so, so important for moving forward with your macros. Now, what we have is body flow coaching, right? This is a chance to book your call, granted that we have spots open, we have very limited spots, with a one-on-one -on -one RE coach, right? We're gonna dive in. We work directly and it's full accountability. You moving with one coach on a weekly basis to not only plot your macros, plot your training, watch over it and carry you through accountability at the top level. Tap the link. If there's spots available, book your call. It's a free call. And we'll see if you're a good fit for coaching. And also, you know, if you pick, or pick the coach's brain a little bit and figure out, you know what, is this something, you know, is this something for me? Which direction should I move? This is an incredible investment. Obviously, it's a financial investment to have coaching. But listen, it is like nothing else in the world because, see, when you put in work, what do you want? You want the most bang for your buck. You want the most possible change. And this is why body flow coaching is an absolute game changer because we calculate from macros, not calories, and we lay out training that merges up with your layout, telling you exactly what to eat and when. Nothing like it. Thank you so much for watching, Ryan. I hope you like this. Remember, the companion items are going to be with this page, with this, pre with this presentation, and I'll see you in the next one.